Ready. Play. All right, let's just get some quick reflections on that match with uh, Henry Squire. Tell us about that. Yeah, it was a difficult match. Uh, really experienced uh, player. Used to have a pretty high ranking of 20-something, I think. And uh, it was just tough to play him. I mean, uh, his forehand can be really, really heavy, aggressive. And uh, sometimes you don't really know what to expect. Uh, he breaks your rhythm, kind of. Does a lot of different things in the, uh, throughout the match. So it's kind of tough to plan for the match. So you just got to adjust uh, in the matches and try to find a solution. And I think that I did that quite well at the end. If you don't mind me saying, you looked a bit pissed off at times in that second set. Yeah. Was that you? Was it the court? A bit of both? or A little bit of everything. I mean, uh, I'm 5-2 down and I, I thought I got broken uh, on, a, on a game where I did some easy mistakes, which I shouldn't have done. And it just went throughout the next couple of games, had some break points, didn't use my chances, and I was just kind of frustrated uh, at that at that moment. But I still tried to just keep my keep my head up and try to play solid and really make him win that set and not do any mistakes um, in, in the important points. And I think I did that quite well. So at the end, just made him play and tried to try to serve big and uh, not not give him much. I mean, you had to save a few set points, and uh, I just wonder what was the thinking in the, in the tie break? Was it just to keep making him play another ball, or was it a bit more nuanced than that? Well, at 6 2, uh, I, I won that point with, the, I think, a pretty good forehand down the line, and then he made an error. And then I just thought, okay, if I, if I win these two service points, he might get a little tight. He already had some set points. So just kind of uh, win these two service points somehow, and if not, then there's still a third set, the match isn't over. So I was kind of uh, loose with it actually, and I already saved previously uh, some set points. So I knew it was probably in his head a little bit as well. And uh, I just went point by point then at, uh, in the tiebreaker. And uh, I wasn't also very nervous on my match point because it was kind of a surprise. I mean, I had seven set points against me and then my first match point. So I just kind of played it loose and uh, yeah, won the match. Last question. What about your level today? It seemed like the first set was pretty consistent, but there were some ups and downs in the second. Yeah, there will. I mean, throughout my last match here, this match, uh, a lot of ups and downs. I find it for my game style very difficult on the courts here, very bouncy. I mean, uh, courts are not in the best shape at the back, so it's a little bit tough to take the take the ball on the rise uh, because there will be a lot of mis miss hits, a lot of um, errors which I normally wouldn't do, and then you know you're kind of stuck in the middle. Should you go a little bit more back? Should you go a little bit more? Uh, to the front or maybe approach more to the net so it uh, doesn't suit me that well but you know mentally uh, it's all about winning somehow and try to find a solution it doesn't matter if, it, if I don't play good if you if you keep winning then, then I'll, I'll take that rather than playing good and losing. Okay it looks like we're getting a bit of an audience here and I think they're here for you not me so have a good day yeah. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye -bye. Uh. Set <laughs> 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 Five games to If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on all things tennis.